Kotash could not make it. Um, so I'm going to show off his um, visualization. So we already showed this map. This is the, the blue markers indicate existing stations, and the green markers are people, are suggested locations for stations. Um, and if you zoom out like all the way to the world, which I'm not going to do because it's just going to take too long, you'll see that people put suggestions like all around the world. Uh, <laughs> but they already talked about what they're going to do about that. Um, so Eric uh, made a visualization, a heat map, um, that every time you refresh it, it does this animation because it's going into the API of the suggestion system, which is also open source and just completely out there, and just pulls in the latest data every single time. Um, so now we can see. So heat maps are, when you look at them like this, it's, it's meaningless. So you just need to zoom in a few more levels, and you start showing, like, OK, the activity spot is over there in uh, Grant Park near Randolph Street, but then there's also an activity spot at North and Ashland, and over here in Logan Square. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and I think Logan Square needs more bikes. And so this is, uh, I also made a suggestion um, browsing website. And so this just lists them all uh, by popularity. So you can see that number one is has 108 supports, and it is over Clark in um, Andersonville. And what I one reason why I did this is because you could type in a word, and you could see how many uh, suggestions had that word. And so 71 out of 285 include the word CTA. Um, and you can type in blue line. And so this takes a while because it's, it's all running. This, uh, the browser is running the calculations. So it has to count all the ones that have been hidden away and the ones that are still showing. Um, and so I was doing this um, every couple of hours. I was pulling in the latest data set so that I could track the popularity of different locations. And um, Logan Square was kind of in the lead for like the first few days, but then it kind of dropped off. And somehow this one in Andersonville just shot up. But then also this one, Lower Randolph in DuSable Harbor, was also really popular. And to me, that doesn't seem like a place where a lot of people would want to bike to, because you have to own a yacht or a boarding <laughs> one to use that <laughs> station. Um, Although it does seem like a decent uh, waypoint on a longer journey, uh, if you are a dock surfer. <coughs> um, yeah, so this was just a tool for me to, to see what people were, where people were suggesting. Um, and then since I'm a transportation reporter, I, I made a blog post saying, like, oh, this is a map is available for your input. And I just wanted to say, like, hey, guys, these are the top five. Like, maybe if you don't want them to be the top five, you go start suggesting your own and, and popularizing some. Uh, there is no downvote option, so you just got to upvote. Um, okay, so we have one more. Uh, Josh. Um, this one's a little different. It's 